Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it is time for a mid-year office deep clean. I lease an office across town where I run my Etsy shop out of primarily, but it's also where I edit all of my YouTube videos, answer all of my emails, talk to customers, work with mentees, do all of the other parts of my business as well. It's all out of this space. So I have this front room, oops, I'm hitting a vacuum. I have this front room and then a hallway, a wall of boxes. Back past that wall of boxes, I have a little kitchenette and a bathroom, and then there's a middle room, which is like my packing studio for Etsy. Um, I try to do a deep clean in this space about every six months, so we are due for it. This place gets super, super dusty because if you think of washing your clothing and then all of the lint that comes off in the dryer with a new garment, I only have new garments coming through here, and so when I'm mailing out hundreds and thousands of them, you can just imagine the lint just gets everywhere. And so there's like this lint that just kind of creates a dusting over everything. And so I try to stay on top of it, but really twice a year I need to at least come in and do like a super deep clean. So today is the day I thought I would bring you along with me. Let's get this place spick and span. So the very first thing I did was go in with the shop vac. I hauled this from our garage at home and it was worthwhile to bring it with me because there was just so much dust hiding away that was easily picked up by the shop vac. There was dust, you know, up the walls and in on the top of the ceiling, in the corners, all those little places. And this was just a really easy way to do a complete full clean. So then from here, I can just maintain it for the next four to six months rather than having to do this shop vacuuming <laughs> over and over. So I went through the whole entire office with the shop vac. It was quite a job, but very well worth it. I decided to go ahead and put our robot vacuum up here at my office. Because we have two little kids at home, we hardly ever turn it on because they're both afraid of it. And also, <laughs> it tends to push around toys constantly and it just gets really annoying because it's like always getting caught on toys. So in this season of life, a robot vacuum is just not super functional for our family, but it is amazing to have up here at my office. At the time that I'm recording this voiceover, I've had it up here for about three weeks and every single time I leave my office, I set it to go ahead and run. And it has done a fantastic job of getting all of the dust up. It truly looks like someone has come in and fully vacuumed every single time I come back up here. It just does a great job. It navigates into all three rooms of my office. It picks up everything. It seamlessly goes you know, onto the rug that I have in my front room and then into onto the wood that's throughout the rest of the office. So highly recommended. I got it for 170 off Amazon and it's now 165 and it's been wonderful. So I will link it below if you're looking for a robot vacuum. That one has been a game changer for me. Now I'm up in my front I call this my pretty office um, and I am doing the shop back in here as well and just trying to get all those little cracks and corners nice and clean. This couch because it has it's like that suede microfiber fabric it tends to attract all that little dryer lint that comes along with all of the shirts I'm bringing in so I made sure to hit that as well the curtains just everything this took being sped up makes it look like it was just an easy breezy task but it took me quite a while and then I went in just with the regular vacuum over the rug because that was a lot easier with you know the rollers on the vacuum than it would be to use the shop vac on the rug so just trying to get all the dirt debris and dust out now for a little bit more, you know, fine-tuned cleaning. I'm pulling all the things off of one of my end tables and Windexing the glass top. This table is from Wayfair, as is the couch and the rug. So I will link all three of those below. The curtains are from Target. I will link those below as well. Um, and I can, when we get to my desk, I can link the different components of my desk below if you are interested. Um, but because I only do this every once in a while, I really wanted to make sure I got a good clean. This is my oil diffuser, and um, I went ahead and put some Thieves essential oil in it and let that run just to give a little bit of a fresh smell to the space. So that was nice to do. I kept the oil there so I can add more if I want. And then I have just like a few little things that were gifts that I put 
up there and then I moved over to the other table that I have. The picture there is really special to me because it was taken when I was unknowingly pregnant with my daughter and um, we were in Disney World. My husband and I were in Disney and we were holding this little lantern and it was, you know, you like make a wish or whatever and of course I was wishing to be pregnant after over a year of trying and little did I know I had a tiny, tiny little Nora in my tummy. Um, she was about a week, <laughs> one week gestation at that point. Okay, so now moving on to my desk. This is where obviously I sit and do most of my work. So I'm just going in with the dusting first and then kind of wiping everything down and making sure it's nice and clean as well. <laughs> going through emails and calendars and clearing off my desktop and it's always something. So the desk that I'm using is actually a table. It's meant to be like a dining room table, but I knew I wanted a very large white table and I couldn't find, or desk, and I couldn't find a desk of that nature. So I went, opted for this and it's been so great. I absolutely love it. So I'll leave that linked below. It's from Wayfair. Um, the monitor stand that I have is from Amazon. I can link that. And then everything else is just technology pretty much there on my desk. So just wiping everything down. I also have this thin plastic, there it is, um, cover that I like to use because I put drinks on my desk and I like to write and I don't wanna dent the wood by writing, so it's perfect for that. Um, and so I can link that below as well if you were interested, that one is from Amazon. So that was day one of cleaning. That's everything that I got done. Oh, I'll link my chair as well. <sighs> that was a lot of work and I'm still not done. But I just got a call from my husband that our baby needs me. He's getting hungry, so I'm gonna head home here in the next minute or two. But I still want to mop, um, break down all of the boxes, wipe down the surfaces in my packing room, and a few other things as well. But I did get a lot done today, so I will continue to film when I come back up here tomorrow or the next day and finish it off. It smells fresh in here. I just took out some of the trash. It looks really good, it just, we still need still need a couple more hours of work. It's a pretty big space. I mean, this is 800 square feet is the size of um, the apartment that I lived in back when I was single, you know, a while back. And I lived a whole life in that apartment. And <laughs> so it's kind of a lot to clean it, but I'm so grateful for the space and um, it looks really good. I mean, it looks really good, a lot better than it did. So we are getting there. A couple of days later, after I had finished my work for the day, I went ahead and mopped the entirety of my office. I love this mop for something like this. I've been using the O Cedar Spin Mop at home for a while, but this is a lot more convenient in an office setting like this, and especially because there's not like sticky food on the floor like there is at home. I love it because it's refillable with any cleaning product that you like. You don't have to purchase their brand, whereas like with a Swift or WetJet or whatever you do. And so I'm using diluted Pine Sol right now because I love of pine saw. I love the way it makes the room smell. It just feels and smells so clean and it works so well. So I will link this mop below if you are interested. It is fantastic. Moving into the hallway and just getting some mopping done in the hallway. That third back room is my next big task on, you know, my office deep clean. So that will be tackled next. But for now, I am mopping that little hallway area. I just obviously mopped the packing studio and then I'm up here in the front room mopping the front. I was surprised at how dirty it was in this area in particular because obviously that's where I come in. I probably need a little doormat to help pick up some of the dirt and dust and if it's raining, you know, mud or whatever because it was pretty dirty. And then I have a baby swing because when Colin was itty bitty, he used to come with me to work and I would try to time my work with his naps and I would put him down for a nap or I would let him play in the swing for a while, but I actually just listed it on Facebook Marketplace because it's time to get rid of. He is too big for the swing. So anyway, I mopped and that was a huge accomplishment. A few days later, I set out on my final day of my office deep clean. And so on this day, I'm starting off with my very large standing work desk table thing. <laughs> this thing is like literally 500 pounds, I think. It had to be delivered like on this special pallet, but it is perfect. I use it for shipping and packaging orders, and I love the height of it because I can stand up and work 
which is my preferred way to work. Um, Anyway, so it's great. So I wipe that all down, and then this is my trusty cart where I have at the on the top. You'll see what I put there in a minute. It's packaging supplies, and then on the middle and bottom tiers are less used packaging supplies, but things that I like to have on hand. So on the top, I have um, the little bags that my garments go into before I mail them out, and then I also have some of the mailers, and I got these mailers in my brand color which is like this really pretty teal color and i'm really excited about them i think they're they're pulling a little green um, but i just think they're it's fun to have mailers that are matching with my branding and whatnot so i refilled this on up and got that all situated it looks like it's kind of a hot mess here but it's actually very very functional it's at the exact right height for me to just grab a bag whenever i need one so this sits up here on this large standing desk that I use for packaging orders and I have the enclosure cards that I put in every single order and then the loyalty cards that go in orders for people who have ordered more than once plus a pen, a sharpie, and I have little tiny scissors that I use for snipping little rogue threads on garments if I need to. And then the very last thing, I was just doing a little quick once over. I wipe down this bathroom frequently, so I don't need to spend too much time like deep scrubbing, but, and I'm the only one that uses it so it doesn't get dirty, very dirty at all. Um, but you know, just giving it a nice little wipe down, disinfecting everything, and keeping everything nice and clean is always a good idea. So after I finished this, officially the entire office was completely deep cleaned. And my office is deep cleaned. It feels so good to be working up here knowing that everything's scrubbed and mopped and wiped down and disinfected and dusted and all of the, everything else. Um, I will link everything that I've mentioned in this video down below, including our little robot vacuum that I just love so much. I said that thing every time I leave this office and it really makes a big difference in keeping the lint and dust at bay. So I'm grateful for that. I will also leave a link to my shop below. I have launched my fall line and my football line and our holiday line is coming here shortly. So you'll want to check all of that out. And I might even leave a little coupon code in the description box below. I will see you guys next Sunday with another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for following along. Make sure to subscribe to me on Instagram if you're interested in extra content. That is, it has been such a fun place. I've been chatting with people, I've been sharing about Disney stuff, and we've been talking about some different behind the scenes work stuff that I have coming up, big, exciting thing, just everything. It's just been super, super fun. So. Make sure to follow along there if you're interested in a bit more content. I will see you next Sunday. Thanks so much for following along. Have a great week.